He's one of the teachers. So kila lunch time mnakwanga na chakula. Yeah. Inawatosha? Yeah. Ni kidogo au ni mingi? Mingi. Lakini kuna saa wanaleta kidogo. Kuna saa yenyewe wanaleta kidogo. Kuna kulanga chakula ina gani? Maingiza yellow. Siku mnakula maingiza yellow. Mhm. Kila siku. Maingiza yellow. Na sote wanataka ugali. Mnakuwa huwa mna change huwa mna change sana kwa kuna kuna tujawahi change da unastia asubuhi huwa mnakunywa uji au ampati uji sasa kama tumkula chai na yatimi ile ile the status of the especially the teaching materials and we found that actually they are using the free primary support from government uh, very well that the pupils are supplied with the materials. Then of course we one of the issues that has concerned us is the issue of repair and work here. And, um, although there are good facilities, they need to be kept in good uh, um, repair uh, status. But one of the major concerns here is the there is a running sewage running into the school which is um, uh, which is not coming from the school but coming from the neighborhood that is not good for hygiene and sanitation and uh, the head teacher has shared with us that actually some children have bathed in that sewer um, more than once um, and um, it, it is a, it's a terrible situation and we feel actually that if there is anything that needs to be addressed that would be a, a major one. The other one is the security of the school in terms of they don't have a permanent fence, they have six acres here but they would definitely require a fence that protects both the children um, because we have found that a lot of people are throwing rubbish into the school, so it's difficult to keep it clean. But as far as we are concerned as state teachers, we are concerned about the state of our schools and the funding in those schools. Because when you start talking about access, which we achieved because of free primary education, the other challenge we've got is quality of the same. The access, we, we got almost the double, 100% access to the children, 90%. In, in the primary schools, but it came up with several challenges, explosion of numbers in the classes, like you have seen a ratio of what one teacher to, there's instructional materials is a problem, right, which are ongoing concern in every school, the number of teachers, you know, the staffing, and the rest of even utilities, because they're stagnated, toilets, blocks, they're even lucky that they are having what they're having. Right yeah, now, it is the responsibility of the parent as far as education is concerned. I can even pose another question. If you have a private schools around this place, mm -hmm. what is the minimum pay, you know, fees per child in that? And I'm asking at Rado, you're not talking about the high flyers. Oh, yeah. How much do they charge? The one which is just next to us, to our school, they yeah. charge about 14,000 per, per term. Per term per child. That's now look yeah. at the disparity. Just a child in the neighborhood who is in a private school yeah. in the neighborhood, the parent is putting 14,000 per term when you are giving a child in a primary public school 9,000 for eight years. This is one term that is eight years. So you can just, we need people to have intervention, whether it is going to come from the government, from the parent, and we are happy that the governor is concerned, you know, in Nairobi. Yeah. That is why they, they are coming in because they know the reality on the ground exactly. is no longer theory. They want to find out where is the problem and what can we do for our children. Very good.